Hello friends, welcome to learning E-Type training series. So far we have discussed how to read the architectural drawing, how to define the grid, how to define the material properties, how to define the sectional properties, how to model ground floor, first floor, second floor, roof level, how to model the balcony, how to read the architectural drawing from staircase point of view and uh, how to define the reference plane and reference point for the staircase modeling. Now, if you have missed any one of these videos, please check out those videos in order to get started st uh, learning e steps step by steps. So now after doing all these steps, now we are ready to model the staircase slabs. So first of all, as you can see, our units are set to the inches. So first of all, we will click on units and we will click on metric system of international defaults and after that we have to define one more staircase slabs that is 130 mm so we have to define section properties of the slab section right now we have one slab section that is 125 mm but we will add the new property and we will add slab 130 mm and we will use slab material that is m20 and slab as a shell thing and then after we will use the type as a slab but make sure the thickness is 130 mm so that slab 130 mm or we can specify staircase slab so it is very easy to interpret so we will click on staircase slab we will define the material name staircase slab and we will click on ok we will click on ok and click on ok so after defining the staircase slab now we are ready to start our waste slab so first of all in the section view if you will be see first of all we will plot this waste track then after we will plot the landing then after again we will plot the waste slab then again landing and then again waste slab and again there is a landing so these are the four parts which we have to be plots so we will go to the tabs and right now we are in ground floor plan view we must have to be stay in the ground floor plan view and if you will be see move up that is reference plane 1 view move up reference plane 2 view and first floor plan view why i am showing why i am explaining this because of reference plane one view means what this is the reference plane one view and reference plane two view means this this is the reference plane two view so that's why we have created a reference plane so that we can also start modeling on that view also in that plane also so make sure we are in a ground floor plan view so we are in the ground floor plan view and now we are clicking on draw floor wall make sure you have to use this option you don't have to use draw rectangular floor because of we have to draw the waste slab and waste slab is starting from the ground floor and ending at reference plane one view so we will click on this option and then after make sure our property should be staircase slab and then after first point we are going to define here second point we are going to define here and then after we will click on move up so we are in reference plane one view and then after third point here and last fourth point fourth point here and then after press enter so in the 3d view as you can see we have one waste slab which is started at the ground floor plan view and which is ending at reference plane one view similarly we will plot landing at here so landing directly we can uh, click this option draw floor plan view and then after first point here second point here third point here or directly we can click uh, this rectangular let's say we will click on rectangular option so that one will be much more better for us so first point and click and drag second point here so this is our landing so as you can see landing which is to be drawn at a reference plane one view now 
I will close this dialog box. Again, we will go to the draw floor plan view and make sure right now we are in reference plane one view. Staircase slab has been selected. So first point here, second point here, and we will go to the move up in the level. And then after third point here, and last but not least fourth point here, and press enter. So as you can see, we have also drawn the waist slab. And then after landing, so obviously we will use rectangular option. First point, click and drag here. So as you can see, landing has been also plot. And then after again waist slab, so reference plane to to the. Okay. So after defining this landing slab, now we have to defining the waist slab here. So for that, what we will do, as you uh, as you see right now, we are in reference plane two view. So we will click on this draw floor option. Make sure the property will be staircase slab, and then after first point we have to defining here. Second point we have to defining here, and then after third point we will go to the move up in the list. Third point we will defining here. So make sure we are we will in first floor plan view, and fourth floor we will defining here, and then after press enter. So. As you can see in 3D view, we have also drawn this waist slab. So waist slab landing, waist slab landing again waist slab, and now in the first floor there is a landing. So for that we will click on this draw rectangular floor option. Make sure staircase slab should be selected, and then after first point here, and second point it should be here. So this is our landing at first floor. So this is how you will be model waist slab and landing in the staircase. now from next video we will again go further for the defining some other elements of the staircase